Today I'm going to show you how I make my envelopes for my six inch square cards. I start out with this 12 by 12 paper that I pick up at Joann's. I love the craft and the white. Pretty much they're like 65 pounds so they're not real terribly heavy. You don't want to add too much weight for your postage for sending. Martha Stewart's scoreboard has this nifty envelope template that fits underneath the scoreboard and you just place it up there in the corner and you're ready to go. It gives you some standard envelope sizes and those sizes do work really nice if you don't embellish your cards but if you tend to have dimensional um, embellishments then you need a thicker envelope so for the most part what I use is an eighth inch deep envelope and I can mail that usually for 64 cents um, it ends up being six of the, six and an eighth inch square and an eighth inch deep it's cut my 12 by 12 is cut down to 10 by 10 and I'm going to score all four sides at 3 7 8 inch and at 4 inch. I'm using an embossing stylus. It's nothing special. But I do like it better than the scoring tool that comes with this. So I did a couple sides ahead of time and then I've cut out the corner on this one completely. Let's see if I can make sure I get this on the camera. I'm just cutting out this triangle in all four corners. And then when you fold those all up, you have this. Going to fold your sides in first, your bottom up, top down, and you get a really nice appearing envelope. I just run my ATG gun along these edges, and that's the eighth inch deep envelope. For a quarter inch deep, I still have it cut 10 by 10. I'm scoring at three and three quarters inches and four inches this time on all four sides. And this time I'm going to determine that this is my bottom piece. And I want to leave tabs this time, because otherwise there's too big of a gap if you cut that triangle completely out. So I'm going to cut up twice, and turn it a little bit. Cut that completely off. Cut that little tab. And then those will fold up. This is my bottom. And those will fold up, and as you will see here, these little tabs will go up, my sides will go in, that up, and there you have a really nice envelope again, a quarter inch deep, if you have a little taller embellishments this time. Get those out of the way. For a half inch deep, Still a six and an eighth inch square. Still a ten by ten. And I'm scoring at three and a half and four. I already did two sides ahead of time. Again. And again, I'm going to have this panel be my bottom. So I've cut up, I'm cutting up twice. That one, that one. And I'm just going to cut up part way there. Cut 
those off. And then I have those tabs again. So when I fold that up, those tabs will go in. Just like this. Here they are sticking up. Fold your sides in first. Get those guys in there. And then the bottom up. And your top down. And there you have a half inch deep. Pretty nice. Thanks for watching.